Try this recipe next time you're making breakfast or even lunch. My husband had it for both breakfast and lunch. He just made an omelet during lunch and wrapped it up and it was delicious, he said. You'll need one cup of atta, salt, red chili flakes, coriander, kalanji, and edge wine. Mix that with the dry dough and then start to add water. Slowly add the water. Don't add it all at once. We need a dosa batter consistency. So after we've added water, you can see that it's now the consistency of a dosa batter. Let it sit or rest for five minutes and then you can start to cook it. Because this is not your typical atta or typical paranta, and we didn't do any kneading and rolling, you will need to cook this a little longer. As you see, it's starting to brown up, and you'll see that after flipping it three to four times, it will start to puff up and brown beautifully. You can remove it from the stove after it's browned up and puffed and it's cooked to your liking. Serve with your favorite sabji, achar, or chutney. Share this with a friend who might love it.